I felt like I was due for a full face of nothing new video. This is my favorite to film. I love doing these and it's been too long. I had a blast going around my beauty room and filling up this bag with things that I wanted to use that I haven't seen and haven't used in so long. I'm truly giddy. I feel like I literally went shopping because there's some of these things that I saw and was like, oh, I forgot about that or like I needed to just put on my face again. So I'm so excited. Okay, we are going to start off with brows and I actually found my Anastasia brow definer. So this is in the shade medium brown. This has gotta be old at this point. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brows with this. You know what I was thinking? I really want to revisit Anastasia brow products. I feel like I used to use them all the time. I feel like everyone was using Anastasia brow products for the longest time. And then once Benefit released their Precise in My Brow, that's just what I personally have been into for years now. But I used to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz like crazy. And then also this brow definer is really good too. And the pomade, do you guys remember brow pomades? I don't really use those at all anymore, but I used to like crazy. So I need to like take a trip to Ulta and restock my old favorite Anastasia brow products. I think it'd be fun to revisit them. I'm just gonna go in with my NARS eyeshadow primer and I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette that I picked out. It's been so long since I've used anything Nabla. And I found one of their eyeshadow palettes in my drawer and I was like, yes. I need to use it again. I'm just blending that out with my fingertips. Okay, so the palette that I'm talking about is this right here. So this is the Nabla Side-by-Side -side Nude Palette. This is such an amazing neutrals eyeshadow palette, you guys. It's so beautiful and I just, I'm dying to use it again. So I'm going to, let's see. We are going to go in with the shade Bonjour, which is this one right here. We're gonna use this as our transition. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Beauty Mark, which is a really nice kind of neutral brown. And I'm just gonna start pressing that on the outer portions of the eyelid. We're gonna start creating a little bit of depth with this color. I feel like Nabla is such a good brand. I really love their products and they actually launched a palette that looks really good more recently. I don't, it hasn't been like, actually it's not like super recent of a launch, but I've been dying to try it. Maybe I'll just go ahead and pick it up because they do sell some of their things online at Ulta. Nabla is an Italian brand, so I feel like it's not always super easy to access all of their products, but Ulta does have a few of them. So I need to go pick up that palette. And this one is available on Ulta's website, which is nice. We're just taking that fluffy brush and blending out the edges. Okay, okay, I just was testing out a color and I'm really happy with the direction. So I'm gonna take Cedarwood, which is this one right here. It's a really nice deep bronze. And I'm gonna start layering this on the outer portion of the eye as well. I don't wanna cover up all of the matte, but I am going over it quite a bit and then just buffing that in towards the center. I really like how this is looking right up against that outer lash line. So I'm focusing a lot of the product there. I think it looks so pretty. Then I'm gonna take the same brush and dip into this shade right here called Magic Moment. And I'm just layering that on this portion of the eye. So creating a little bit of a gradient. Then I'm gonna take my finger and dip into Body and Soul, which is more of like a glitter topper type of a shade. And I'm gonna layer that on top of that inner portion. This is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness, I love this formula. And I'm really just taking my time to press this into the eyelid. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty in person. I feel like sometimes my studio lights make things look a little less sparkly, but this is absolutely captivating in person. I'm adding a little bit more of the Beauty Mark color, which is that kind of taupey brown, to the outer edge. And then I'm gonna take this color right here called Ray of Light. And I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corner. I normally do this toward the end of my makeup routine, but I really just wanted to blend this in well, since this does have a little glitter in it, just so I can get rid of any fallout under the eyes. I'm also taking what's left and applying that to the highest point of the brow bone. Okay, now we're gonna use mascara. And I actually found my Lounge Face Lash Mascara. It's been a while since I've used this. So I wanted to use it. I'm gonna really layer this up on just the top lashes for now, but I love how buildable this mascara is. And it also does not smudge or flake on me, which is a must. <laughs> well, I got a few mascara marks on my eyelid, so I'm gonna wait for those to dry before I wipe them off. And I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath the eyes and just clean up the fallout. For primer, I wanted to revisit the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This went viral for a minute there and I tried it, really liked it, and then it didn't really stick in my routine. So I've been dying to try this again. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face. And then I also came across my Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I tried this a long time ago and really did like it. And then again, just kind of forgot about it. Oh, there's so many things like this in my makeup collection that I just forget I have, or, you know, I try something new. And it's honestly a shame because I remember this being really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take bit of that and apply it all over. Um, I'm using the shade Fair Light. You know what I saw is kind of going viral a little bit. I don't know if viral is the word, but kind of. On TikTok is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. Oh, like what? <laughs> I feel like I talked about that years ago, but it's making me feel old, honestly, on TikTok to have things resurface and go viral that have existed for so long. <laughs> Like part of me is like, wait, that was all the hype, you know, six or seven years ago. Well, the Neutrogena Foundation actually I've been using longer than that. It's literally probably been 10 years. That could be an exaggeration, but I'm pretty sure. It's so good and it made me want to revisit it. Maybe I should have for this video, but I guess I'll have to use it in an upcoming video soon because I would love to see how I still feel about it. It's been a minute. So I really wanted to use this concealer because I feel like everyone uses it and I like it but it's not my everyday, it's the Kosas concealer, the Revealer concealer, and maybe I'm just like, you know, overlooking it, I don't know. So I wanted to give this another go. I'm gonna wear a little bit more than usual. Since I'm doing a little bit more of a glam look, I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty sponge. I was going through my cream contour drawer and I found this, the Huda Beauty Tantor, and I was like, oh, why have I not used this in a while? I just, ugh, I love this so much, it's amazing. I have mine in the shade Fair. A little goes a long way with this, so I'm just gonna map this out all over the skin. This was like one dip in the product and it's already covering my whole face. I'm just gonna start buffing this in. Oh my gosh, I used to wear this every day of my life, <laughs> especially for special occasions. It was my favorite and it's been way too long. I'm really happy to be applying it on my face again. Okay, once I have it kind of mapped out roughly with the brush, I like to go in with my foundation brush and just use what's left to really buff in the edges. And then I always go back over with my sponge just to make sure again that it's super seamless. Okay, before I forget, I'm trying to buff off this mascara mark. It's kind of working. I might have to revisit it again later. For powder, I don't know if my base is gonna be too glowy, but I really wanted to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one is so good. Over top of that Smashbox Tinted Moisturizer, it might be a little too glowy, maybe not. I actually don't find this powder to be uh, shimmery by any means, but it definitely leaves a gorgeous glow to the skin. But you guys know I love to set my entire face with powder, so that's why it's nice to be able to have a powder that will lock in your makeup, but then won't compromise the glow if you want it. I'm also using that to set the outsides of the face. I also wanted to use a powder bronzer on top because I just love layering bronzers and I wanted to dip into my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer just to further warm up and sculpt the face. This bronzer smells so good. Okay, we're gonna revisit the eyes. I'm gonna take my Nabla Magic Pencil. I used to use Nude Eyeliner in the waterline a lot and it's been a while, so I wanted to do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Cedarwood, which was that kind of metallic bronze, it's like a reddish bronze. I wanna take the setting spray I'm gonna use and just spray that. And then press it into the back of my hand so there's not too much fallout. And then I'm just gonna kind of draw that along the outer edge of that lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna take Magic Moment and apply that on like the inner half. And now I'm taking a flat brush and going into the shade Bonjour, which is what we used first on the top lid as our transition to just kind of blend those out. I like to go along the edges. I'm not going over top. I'm just blending out the lower edge of the eyeshadow using this. And then I'm gonna go back into Ray of Light. And just use that to connect the inner corner to that lower lash line. I'm just using my under eye powder brush to sweep away any fallout. And then I'm gonna take that same exact lounge face lash mascara and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lashes. Okay, we are going to move into highlighter and blush. So I got giddy when I found this highlight. This used to be like my everyday. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is their Kilowatt highlighter and mine's in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, specifically the shade Lightning Dust, I believe. It's the less sparkly one. That was my go-to for so long. I'm really excited to revisit it. So I'm just going to apply this to the high points of the face. I love how this has a little bit of like a pink undertone to it. I think that makes it so flattering for my skin tone. I love it. 
Oh, so pretty. Okay. And then this blushy guys I completely forgot about. Rosy Rendezvous from Revlon. Oh, I used to love this and I can't believe I forgot about it. I completely forgot about it. It's the most beautiful mauve blush ever. So we're using it today. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the apples of the cheeks. And I always like to take a little bit of the blush and just apply it in the crease of the eye to just tie the tones together. This is looking so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. And for lip liner, I cannot believe that I lost this. Like I have my lip liners organized by brand and this was in a different section. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Done Undone lip pencil or that's the shade. And I found it and was like, oh my gosh, I lost this. So I wanted to use it again. I absolutely love this color. It's one of my all time favorites. Oh, I miss this one, it's so pretty. I wanted to wear a favorite lipstick of mine from Alme. This is the Go Wild lipstick. I'm just gonna apply that to the center of the lips and use my finger to press that in. And then for gloss, I seriously saw like four people talk about this gloss like in one day. And so I wanted to revisit it myself. And that is the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Fussy. Oh, what a classic. But people are still using and still loving this. And I was like, am I missing out? by forgetting about this one. Ooh, that's so nice. Okay, I really like how everything looks. We are going to assess the situation. Of course, as always, starting with adding a little more bronzer. I'm just gonna take the Too Faced bronzer and just buff that in on the outer portions of the face a little bit more. Put some on the sides of the nose. I'm gonna take what's left on the powder brush and just buff out this area a little more right here. And then I feel like I need to touch up my brows, so I am gonna take the Anastasia Brow Definer one more time and just kind of refill any areas that I feel like need it. Okay, now I'm going to take this setting spray. This is from One Size, it's the On Till Dawn setting spray. Now this is not a new product, but it's somewhat new to me. And I keep seeing people talk about this too, so I really wanted to use it because it's been in my collection for a long time and I just like forgot. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray the face with this. Woo, it's like hairspray. <laughs> That's quite a scent, whoa. I inhaled that, whoops. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of press that down with my sponge. It doesn't really feel super damp. Hmm, it's a mattifying setting spray, which I think will be nice since I use so many glowy products. It's nice to kind of counteract the glow with a mattifying spray. And then I found my M Cosmetics Clear Brow Gel, and I think I like this, right? Didn't I use this all the time? So I wanted to revisit it, and I'm just gonna throw this in the brows to just lock everything in place. I like how small the spoolie is on this. I honestly can't remember if this holds my brows well or not, but I wanted to try it again. Okay, I love how this look turned out. I think it looks so fresh. I like how there's a mix between brown, bronze, and then a little hint of pink with the glitter on the eyes and the lips. I'm really happy. It's so fun to shop my stash because I feel like I have so much makeup and I forget about so much. So it literally felt like I tried out a full new face of makeup just because it's been so long with some of these products. Look at that highlighter. Oh, delicious. I love it. I love doing this series for this reason because it kind of reignites my love for products that I just accidentally forget about sometimes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I do. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope this video inspires you to reach back into your makeup bag or your collection and just allow yourself to feel like it's brand new again. Try something new, try a new technique, try a new combination and make your things that you already own feel new because that's what I did today and it feels really good. I love how my makeup turned out. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.